Hi everyone, this is Neil Reiterter, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. I'm very excited about this video because it really showcases the benefits of the new Rye Correct that I've developed and in particular the bent version. I'll come on to that in a moment, but I'll give you a brief uh, case history. So this patient has to attend twice a year and we always try and remove their earwax using uh, manual instruments. So we try to avoid suction where as possible. And that's because this patient has got uh, underlying tinnitus, which can spike and be exacerbated um, after performing microsuction. So they prefer having it removed manually. It can be a lot more difficult to remove earwax manually particularly in this case because of the consistency of the away earwax and also the ear geometry and anatomy. They've got a very narrow, almost shut entrance to the ear canal. And then once you get in there, it's quite bendy and twisty. Now, the reason why I'm excited about this particular case is if you watch this patient's previous case, it's video number 1297, and I'm going to add the link in the description. Using the right correct, was far easier than um, the last time I treated this patient using a traditional Jobson horn. And in that case, not only did I use a traditional Jobson horn, I used, also used a metal version. Um, now, what's typically quite difficult in this case is reaching out for the more deeper, softer wax. And that's where the bent version of the Rye Correct comes into its own. Most earwax removal uh, manual instruments in the UK at least, they're straight handle. Now, if you wait till the end of the video, you're gonna see a still image of this right correct. So it'll give you an idea of, of what I'm referring to. Having the bend in there, not only gives me more reach inside the ear, but it also provides more maneuverability. But additionally, um, it prevents your hands crossing over and it also prevents the earwax view being obstructed. Now, if you've got deep earwax, and I'm right-handed, so I'm holding the instrument, the correct in my right hand. If you've got earwax deep in the ear and it's on the right-hand side in particular, what can happen with a straight instrument as you're entering the ear with the, with the instrument and leaning over towards the right, the hand that you're holding the instrument in can actually cross over and obstruct your line of view which is obviously not ideal because you can't really see what you're doing inside the ear. So with the, the bent version, your hand never ever needs to, or in fact does uh, obstruct your line of view because it's, it's always out of the way. And that's a major, major benefit. Um, and if you compare this procedure to the procedure I performed six months ago, where I use a straight handle Jobson horn and in fact in that case I also used a metal uh, Jobson horn correct because I need the metal ones actually longer uh, than the the plastic ones that we normally use and I needed the metal one last time for that extra reach but it was extremely difficult to remove some of the wax that was on the canal wall last time especially on the back part of the ear canal but with the the new Rye correct the bent version it worked to treat now it may just be a one-off in this particular case. When this patient comes back in six months, I may experience some of the difficulties I did in video 1297. But only time will tell. The patient themselves um, even commented saying it, it, was, it this time it was far quicker. and they, Not that it was uncomfortable last time, but because of the metal instrument, if you do make even the slightest bit of contact with the canal wall, patients can feel it a bit more. And in this case, they didn't feel anything. So the patient themselves um, noticed a difference in the treatment they were receiving. So it was all very positive and I, I'm really thrilled by um, how well this procedure went and how well the, uh, the right correct performed. So you are gonna get some natural surface wax. We're not gonna try and scrape and um, you know, remove that because of by scraping the ear, we're going to cause more trauma. Bit of wax is good for you. I did also mention that in video 1297. And I also mentioned it because I watched that video back. I also mentioned that sometimes um, I receive emails if I leave a bit of wax from people, uh, disgruntled viewers who are not happy and feel that I don't know what I'm doing. 
So guys, please be kind. A um, bit of wax is good for you. Uh, I'm trying to remove all the excess, larger pieces of wax, but uh, we all produce wax for a reason. It's there to protect our ears, to moisturize the skin. Without the wax, uh, the skin that lines the ear canal becomes very dry because uh, moisture within the skin cells rises to the surface and without this protective hydrophobic wax and oily sweats and lipids, the moisture within the skin cells then gets evaporated. So having this wax sitting on the skin is a natural moisturiser. Also, earwax is mildly acidic and what the acidity does, it helps to prevent harmful, uh, um, potential um, uh, bacteria in the ear from becoming harmful pathogenic. So our ears are full of uh, bacteria and fungi. Um, in mild acidity, the bacteria generally is non-pathogenic but if the ph level increases and becomes more alkaline then um, some of these bacteria can become pathogenic and it also then allows the perfect breeding ground for other bacteria to enter the ear and become pathogenic so earwax helps to inhibit um, harmful bacterial and fungal growth also bacterial fungi uh, um, so whereas pathogenic bacteria are what we call neutrophiles, their optimal pH is more neutral. Fungi is more, it becomes pathogenic depending upon the humidity in the ear uh, and, the, and the warm temperature of the ear. Um, also earwax is sticky, as you can see, any, is it traps any foreign particles, dust, dirt, pollen. And in the main state, earwax naturally migrates out of the ear. So of course, in this patient, it's not. They have to have it removed every six months. In part, I think that's due to their narrow uh, entrance of the ear canal. Also, the consistency of the wax is very sticky. You may have also seen there the curvature of the correct. We have, I've, I've put a little curve in there to mimic the curvature of the ear canal, which then makes removing soft, sticky wax off the canal wall far more comfortable for the, for the patient. Um, all other corrects and jobs and horns that I've used are straight. Um, there's no curvature at the tip. So when you're then gliding it against the canal wall, which is slightly rounded and curved, it creates more friction and, and it can become a bit more uncomfortable for the patient. So this is their left ear. This left ear is always, always has less wax. There was a bit there, I would say, partial occluding. So I'm just mopping it up for the patient. They don't have any symptoms per se, but just, Whilst they're here with the right side, I might as well just remove some of the bigger lumps. And you can just see how well the right correct is moving and um, uh, gliding across the surface of this, the canal wall to remove wax. So guys, I've got so many great videos. I'm slightly concerned because I don't know how I'm going to get the time to upload them all. And uh, But the iClear, phone, um, iClear scope, I'm using the iPhone SE and my memory's full, so uh, uh, I'm gonna have to probably to spend one day maybe at the weekend just uploading multiple videos I think just to get these off my phone but I don't know if I've got the time but um, the reason I'm telling you that is do stay tuned I've got some fantastic videos um, almost every day I'm getting some really really interesting cases so here's a still image of the the, the right correct the bent version so the straight version you just don't get those those bends but those bends are proven to be very, very beneficial indeed. And it's helping me with my procedures and it's also enhancing patient satisfaction and comfort. Thanks, guys. Speak soon. Bye.